Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Worldwide Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. What I want to show you here is how you can create a repeating pattern in Adobe Illustrator and then use that pattern as a background for a web page, for example. So in order to do that, I will go over here into my swatches panel because instead of uh, creating a, um, a pattern from scratch, what I will do is actually use a pattern that already exists in Illustrator. And I have here a whole bunch of patterns called the Vonster patterns, which are truly beautiful. The pattern I want to use for my website is called Pompadour. And in order to add that pattern to my swatches panel, all I need to do is to click on it and you see that it now appears over here in my swatches panel. The next thing I need to do is to take that pattern and simply drag it over onto my artboard. You will notice something very interesting here. If I zoom in, you see that there is a square, all right? This, this, these are actually the bounds of my pattern. That's where the repeating starts. And it basically works like a, uh, like a clipping mask. But I will be using that information to actually create a new artboard. So if I go down here to the artboard tool and press the shift key, I will be able to add an artboard on top of my existing artboard. And very, very simply, I can now draw the artboard and make sure that it perfectly fits on the bounds that I've just shown you. And with the artboard still selected, I can then go over here to File, Save for Web, and in the Save for Web window, I will of course be able to choose between various formats like GIF, JPEG, or PNG. I'm choosing PNG because I want to retain the crisp aspect of that, uh, of that pattern, and then I will simply hit Save. Let's give this pattern a name, Pompadour, all right, and save it. Basically, I'm done. In Illustrator, this is all I needed to do. Now, I can use the pattern that I've just created in websites created with Adobe Dreamweaver, but what I have been using uh, lately is Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse is an application that's also part of your Creative Cloud membership. Basically, it's an application that lets you uh, create websites without ever having to look at the code. And what I want to do on this specific page is add the pattern that I've just created here on the, um, uh, on the web page background, the browser fill. So simply by clicking up here, I will be able to not only change the color of the browser fill, but to add an image. So I'm gonna choose the background image, Pompadour PNG, open that, and as you can see, that image that I've just created in Adobe Illustrator is now being used in Adobe Muse. So the steps are really, really simple. You create the pattern in Illustrator, you drag the, uh, the swatch on top of your artboard and create a new artboard just fitted around the swatch bounds. And then you can export that specific artboard to an image file and then use it in your website. Be that with uh, Adobe Dreamweaver or like in my case with Adobe Muse. And then if we go over here under File, Preview Page in Browser, you will see that the repeated pattern here actually fills my browser and as my browser window grows larger or smaller, well, that pattern just repeats in the background. That's pretty cool, isn't it?